Are you thinking about moving to Rochester, New York, but you're not sure if Rochester is the right place for you? Today we're talking about whether or not you should move to Rochester, New York. Let's go. What's going on guys, welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony, it's my partner Avery, and we are American Home Team. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every Tuesday and Thursday that we release a new video. 100% guys, and we are local realtors here in the state of New York. So, as much as we love making these videos, for you guys regarding the Finger Lakes and the Rochester region, we'd love even more to assist you with your real estate needs whether you're looking to make a move in nine days or 90 days, we would love to be the people you choose to work with you and help you make a smooth move to the Rochester region. Uh, phone number and email on the screen. Reach out, we are the guys that answer those phone calls, texts, and emails. We would love to have a chat with you. And without further ado guys, today we're answering the question whether or not you should move to Rochester, New York. Yep. All right guys, so moving right into it, so Rochester, is a smaller metropolitan city with a population of roughly about 200,000 people within the city limits. Uh, Rochester is made up by a bunch of suburbs as well that a lot of people, especially outsiders or you know people out of state would consider the Rochester region as a whole. But Rochester is very rich in history uh, from uh, civil rights, to, uh, I mean, a lot of the marches that were just going on, what, not too long ago, mm -hmm. this past year or so. As well as cultural, cultural diversity and relatively low cost of living in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. And so there's a couple questions that you wanna ask yourself prior to making that decision. And one of which is whether or not there are job opportunities in Rochester, New York. Yeah, guys, so as we've mentioned before in some of our previous videos, the job market is very good, right? But you may need uh, certain qualifications. Right. So a lot of the things that we talk about are that you might need a master's degree and years of experience, right? That's not for everything. You might be able to get an entry level job that you, you know, only requires a degree or maybe doesn't even require a degree but requires a little bit of experience, mm -hmm. right? And so there's give and takes as far as the Rochester job market goes. Overall though, it is really good and there is plenty of growth happening in the job market. Yeah, and we've talked to a couple of uh, subscribers actually regarding the relocation process and being able to help you get jobs. We are not the end all be all, so I am not gonna go and match you with a job myself, right? I'm a realtor, I help match you with homes, right? That's my profession. However, we have partners within the recruiting industry or the staffing industry that can help you get jobs, regardless of the field, right? There are some jobs that are a bit more nuanced, right? So we need to kind of step uh, outside of some of our partners and get some recommendations on other partners. Like, you know, we have some that are like musicians and they're looking for roles in music and um, that type of thing. We can get you in touch with those people. We understand that it's brutal in the majority of the country to get a job, let alone relocating from one state, coming to another where you know practically nobody, but we're here to help. So we will get you in touch with some of those staffing agencies yeah. to help you get a job that's gonna put food on the table, but hopefully bring you a little bit more money than your monthly bills because we actually have a pretty low cost of living here in Rochester, New York. So that is the next topic. One thing I wanted to touch on actually before we move on to that topic is we do actually have uh, contacts in law enforcement recruiting yep. and the military recruiters as well. And what makes them great, the military recruiters especially, is because they are doing job fairs at a lot of these other businesses and mm -hmm. these schools and they're getting in contact with a lot of other job agencies. So they know, Everybody. Uh, I would, I, honestly, I would see even more people than we do as far as it come, as far as it goes to uh, the job market, right? Yeah. Because they are fishing out of them. And so we have some pretty intimate experience with the recruiting offices as far as the military law enforcement side. and military side. Mm -hmm. um, so we can get you in touch with them. And uh, if we can't help, 
they certainly will be able to. Thousand so percent. Now moving on to cost of living. Yeah, guys, uh, we've discussed it before in many other videos, but we, as a, as a region, are about 11% lower of a cost of living than the national average. Yep. And that's good because you're gonna be spending less on your groceries, you're gonna be spending less on your housing, less on your taxes, even though we are a higher tax state, the Finger Lakes and the Rochester area are pretty low in the grand scheme of the rest of the country. So we find that you're moving from a state with maybe high taxes or maybe even lower taxes, but your costs are through the roof. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be dropping some of uh, that cost of living here. I, I, here. I feel like we in this area are actually uh, pretty spoiled because you know we, we hear people talking about, oh, the, uh, the home prices are rising and they're getting so expensive. But compared to what, right? Because you go out west or you go down south and prices are way more expensive, right? For the same house, you're gonna be paying maybe even uh, double or triple what you would pay here. Yeah. So cost of living here, I, I think it's extremely important to understand that when you're living here and this is what you know, you may feel like it's so expensive as things rise, right? As the market inflates or whatever you wanna call it, right? But when you put it uh, relative to other parts of the country, we're actually very spoiled. Yeah. I, I, we have friends from all over the country who are saying, you know, holy smokes, that house costs how much, right? Yeah. Because it's so cheap. They would be paying double or triple for that same house. Yeah, and with that, if you're- Let alone a gallon of milk, right? Right. <laughs> and if you're, if you're looking to get into sales, right, that is one of the downsides is that things are a little bit cheaper here. So you're selling a product, right? Like we're, we're selling homes. You make a little less on your commissions because the prices are lower. However, there's a lot of opportunities. So you can sell more of them and, you know, break even, uh, you know, to what you would in some other states as far as the opportunity goes. But with the housing, there's right now, there's not a lot of inventory. So you are gonna pay a little bit more for a home uh, because of so supply and demand issues. However, we can get you into a rental until some of that is eased up or you save up enough money to buy. Uh, and then we can get you into that market as well. We just got a email the other day from uh, a college student who's looking to relocate for his PhD. He's going to U of R and uh, he wants us to help him find a rental until he's ready to buy. Maybe he graduates and he wants to buy or whatever that situation looks like for him. But we can help you do those things. But yeah, with the housing market, it is gonna be a little bit inflated because the supply and demand issues, but it's but still it's cheaper. Still cheaper. Yeah. So yeah. you're, you're gonna be else. sitting in a good spot coming from some other state or some other area yeah. to the Rochester region. The problem in Rochester is you don't get a ton of land in the Rochester area. You have to move to some of the sur suburbs to get that breathing room, which is something we were talking to a client the other day about is like, hey, you might have to get into Penfield or uh, Pittsburgh or into Ontario County to get some of that leg room where you're not gonna have a neighbor right next to you. Right, these, these people specifically, they're from uh, New York City, Long Island area, and it's everything's on top of each other. Horns and sirens going like crazy, right? That's all they hear. This area is perfect if you want to try and escape that, right? Yeah, so. Sure. Moving forward, uh, we're moving on to the climate of Rochester, New York. Guys, you've heard us talk about it. We've talked about it many times, right? Winters can be harsh. This winter has been, I think, historically mild, or yeah. uh, I mean, really, very little really, snow. Yeah, really easy winter so far. Not too cold. There's been a few times where it's gotten negative, maybe, but it's really not bad. We're not getting much snow this year at all. And things come in waves, right? So next year might be bad, who knows? But it's not unbearable, right? Winter can kind of get harsh. Summer can get warm or humid or whatever, but we have the best of both worlds as far as not too cold, but we still get cold. Not too hot, but it still gets, you can go out and tan on the boat or on the beach yeah. or on the, you know, the lake or whatever. And then you got fall and spring, which arguably are some of the best times in New York state. Yeah. And we, we don't get uh, tornadoes, we don't get hurricanes, yeah. we don't get any of that crazy, crazy weather that you would see in other parts of the country. Yes, we deal with winter for a longer period of time, but there are years like this year that we haven't got anything and we'll probably honestly push into March, if we're being honest. But uh, so far this year, 
I bought a new snowblower last year for the winter for my house and haven't had to pull it out this year. So we've had a mild winter and uh, like Anthony said, the summer, spring and the fall are beautiful, definitely make up for the long winter. Yep. And you know, there's no shortage of activities to you know, do things in those months as well as the winter if you find something that you like to do in the winter time. But there are some expenses that you have to consider with the winter. Right, so, uh, you know, snowblower. Like I said, I spent some money on a snowblower that I haven't had to even take out this year. If you move into the suburbs, you're gonna need a lawnmower. You're gonna need uh, maybe like a plowing service or maybe a, a landscaping service. You may also need to maintain your car a little bit more because you have salt on the roads, right? Or the roof of your house for yep. ice damming. Yep. And so uh, there are some costs associated with the weather here, but not anything near the cost of what it would cost if uh, you lived in some of these states with crazy hurricanes or tornadoes yeah, or hurricane insurance whatever these insurance yeah whatever and, yeah. these storms are that everyone else gets we don't get them we don't even get earthquakes in this area no. so you don't need that additional insurance right all right and moving on to last but certainly not least uh, is that Rochester, we like to think, is a pretty friendly area. And so when we talk about a sense of community here in Rochester, what we're talking about is the fact that everyone here is pretty accepting of everybody else. We don't really get super high highs or low lows as far as you know some of the community like differences, I guess you would call it, right? We are a very, very diverse city there in Rochester and you can see that if you go through some of the streets, you can see that not only with the people, but the restaurants, the shops, whether it is minority owned uh, businesses, whatever it is, the community is always standing up to support the businesses, the restaurants, uh, each other, and go an hour up the street into Buffalo and look at everything that the community has done for Josh Allen when his uh, grandmother passed away, right? All the money that uh, was raised for DeMar Hamlin. And I know that's a nationwide feat. However, a lot of that effort was from Buffalo and Rochester, mm -hmm. right? And that's just the nature of the beast because we're all such friendly neighbors. And, and I mean, we've said it before in probably, what, at this point, four other videos that Buffalo is the city of friendly neighbors. Yep. and. Rochester is second right behind it. Yep. It has to be. We're so close to the cities, I guess, in distance that there's some uh, overflow, right? So Rochester is very close behind it as far as being a friendly neighbor. And the people here, I've, I've never had any issues personally yeah. with anybody in the area. Of course, you get some of the asshats, I guess, on, on the highway that are gonna be beeping at you if you speed by them. We or, swear every once in a while, yeah, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so if you're driving like a butthead <laughs> or something, right, of, nice course, to say of course somebody is gonna beep at you. You might get some of those road ragers just like you have anywhere else, right? If you're moving from but, Florida, what is it, I-4? If you're moving from Florida and you drive the same way here in New York, you'll probably fit in, but you will be called that name that Anthony yeah. just said. <laughs> so, just saying. So driving, honestly, driving is, what I found is uh, one of the biggest pet peeves for a lot of the people around here, yeah. right? And especially in the winter, if you get a dusting and someone's driving six miles an hour when it's <laughs> supposed to be 65, everyone's thinking, what, did you forget to drive or what? Like, yeah. or you forget how to drive rather. Nine and so years old. driving is one of those things that can bring out some, you know, the devil uh, some you. aggression in people. Yeah. However, once that drive is done, they're back to being your friend. Yeah. So <laughs> they're so, back to helping out the community and, yep. and being cool, so. So the point is, yeah. is that we're a very close knit community in Rochester. There's tons of local events that happen in the warmer months, literally every single weekend you can find something to do, whether it's a concert uh, at the Armory or Blue Cross Arena or whatever, or a comedy show or just a, like a festival going on in the streets, but very close knit community. And every, everyone likes to meet up at those festivals and those local events to just get together, eat some food, drink some beer, drink some wine together, and just be a city of good neighbors. Like I said before, everybody supports everybody for the most part. And I think if you make the decision to move to Rochester, I think you'll realize that as well. Mm -hmm. Once you start integrating yourself in the community more and more, I think you'll realize that uh, you're gonna become friends with just about everybody. You're gonna fit in just fine, no matter where you come from, yep. as long as you act like a human. <laughs> and you're a right. Bills fan. 
And yeah, and you're a Bills fan. You have to be a Bills fan. Especially just don't be a Jets, Dolphins, or Patriots fan because- Especially Patriots. Yeah, those are those are the no-gos in this area, right? If you're one of them, then you, we might still be friends with you, but- We're we'll helping we'll help you buy a house, We'll do it reluctantly, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that being said, guys, hopefully that answers your question as to should you live in Rochester. The worst thing that we have to say about Rochester is the winter. Yeah. That's the only thing, yep. is the winter. All of like the crime stats and everything else, right? You can look up online, but I think what you're gonna find is that where you want to live, here in like the Rochester region, it won't be an issue. It's gonna be a great place to live. I think you're gonna like it if you move here. Yep. The question is, can you find a job? And are you gonna make enough money to pay the low cost of living? Yep. That's it. And our job is to help you do that, That's right? right? So. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every Tuesday and Thursday that we release a new video. And when you're ready to relocate, phone number and the email on the screen, go ahead, shoot us a text, an email, or a phone call. We are the guys that answer those texts, emails, and phone calls. We would love to hear from you and have a conversation. Till next yep. time, we'll see you guys.